Airmanship is an important aspect of the Academy. Uh, the history of Wings of Blue, I guess it was kind of started uh, 1964. It was a group of renegade jumpers. It was uh, an interesting beginning, to say it kind of. Maybe parachuting isn't for everybody, but a lot of cadets think this is the greatest sport ever. The important point for us was to come home with a trophy, something we could show for effort that would reflect well on the academy. Some of them jump almost every day and a half a dozen times on weekends. So they kind of got together and they decided to enter into a skydiving competition and against uh, the judgment of those around them and they weren't being endorsed by the academy, no one really knew they were doing it. They were actually under uh, a lot of investigation, getting in trouble for doing this, I guess, high-risk activity. Risk is, is something that you have to, to look at in a number of ways, and it has a great value. You, know, you begin to learn where the edges are. Uh, there are those times in a person's career where the only acceptable outcome is success. And so in those kinds of situations, you know there's great risk, but you risk your life, and that's the ultimate sacrifice that we often talk about in this profession. And so risk to a leader involves all that. What's the mission? What are we doing? Is it worth it? And, and, and you know that when you step into risk, you're learning and you're advancing the craft. The cadet parachute team competes in intercollegiate meets and usually finishes first. They're called the Wings of Blue. So uh, after deliberation on the leadership's part, they decided to allow the Wings of Blue to become what it is today. So it just started from a group of renegade jumpers, so I guess, I guess we started from some rebels, and I guess we had the opportunity to become like, the leadership development course and the recruiting tool for the Air Force today.